Journey's End. Oh, we're back in the old, uh, back in the, oh, I know this one. Back in the old Springfield here. Oh, pulled the subs out too much. Weren't able to take pot shots on the dudes coming out of port. And weren't able to spawn camp, basically. Springfield's patrolling at 500 feet just north of the 69th parallel, about 100 miles west of Norway's rocky coastline. Norwegian's collection of diesel boats are in the shallow waters to the east, guarding their coast. <clears throat> Uptime. Spraz, hello. You just missed repost, unfortunately. <laughs> but I fixed... There was a bug, and I fixed it, and it was uh, much easier. Stores look all tasty to me. Does Luami include Virginia's? Yes, it does, but they're not. Nothing. Nothing else is playable in Luami, unfortunately. I'm pretty sure there's Virginia's. We can take a look once we get in the mission. Take Tasms. Yo, Jesus. First things first. Looks pretty damn clear. Hitting a moving ship at 12,000 yards with a T-Lamb. Oh my god. T-Lambs can be the most annoying damn thing. <laughs> like if you're trying to shoot like... There's some of those missions where you're trying to shoot like the naval base structures. And if you have your missile go like in the water. Like right before land it just won't blow up. Just be like, yep. We're in the drink. I thought I turned that on. trying to think if this is the mission that I think it is. Pretty dang clear. Ah, we got a layer. Okay, that'll do. We got a CZ. Interesting CZ shape. It's Ploppo. CZ. First CZ kind of range thing out there. All right, let's hop above that layer then, shall we? Take a peek. Make my depth two zero zero feet. Dive Actually, no. I should really put this where like the layer will be. It's a shallow layer. Or the shadow zone, excuse me. Shadow zone. Two point eight. Fox radio. Recommend we copy the broadcast. Oh, there you go. <clears throat> Maddie Conrad, hello. We don't really have orders at the moment. Just uh, to patrol here. Is your patrol AOD conflicted with allied subs? I assume so. How deep can you be and still have the wire hit the surface? That's a good question. I think it's like 500 feet length, so in theory... 500 feet if you're at all stop. 
I know the wire is much longer in RA. I generally do like maybe two or three hundred feet deep for uh, the wire, down to like two or three knots. COVID control in the U.S. It's going pretty well. I think in my in my county have like the lowest cases we've had since the pandemic started. <clears throat> Oh, we're up here. Hello. Shrimp. 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 And shrimp. Forrest Gump will be proud. And they're distant shrimp. Oh, let's just go to PD. Make my depth zero, six, seven feet dive by. I haven't even begun vaccinations in Amsterdam. That's crazy. I'm fully vaccinated as of tomorrow. <clears throat> Squall inbound. <laughs> Hope not. Though I do think I know what happens here. But I'm not gonna say anything. <laughs> I'm assuming this toad is not above the layer yet. Probably should have waited for that. Elderly already vaccinated. There you go. I wish you could see what the toad depth was. It's like, I want to know how much time I got before that thing's up here. I know when it'll get up here. I'll see those shrimp. I'm going to wait till... Toad gets up here. There you go, there's the shrimpies. Hello, hello. Con sonar, I have a new contact. Bearing three, zero, two, designated Sierra one. Fifty one sixty four forty. Could definitely be Russian. NW is that Norway? Ula Skilled. Okay, well, it's neither of those. And that's actually a, that's a surface ship. <clears throat> yeah, we're going to put some confidence high on that being a, a sub. Con sonar, I have a new contact. Bearing two, four. Zero. Designated Sierra two. Raise the ESM mask, Chief of the Watch Eye. That dude could be far. That kilo, he could be charging some diesels or something. I don't know. Raise the antenna, Chief of the Watch Eye. Con EW. Have a new contact. Bearing one one six. 
P P3 Orion. Soviet forces consolidated control of Iceland. Infantry division was airlifted in yesterday. Norwegian air bases have been under continuous air attack past 20 hours. USSR has achieved air superiority over northern Norway. Soviet air forces attacked Task Force 21 south of Iceland. Saipan, Taikan, French carrier Foch have been sunk. Nimitz heavily damaged. Amrat to Southampton. Spetsnaz attacks have blocked port approaches in Hamburg and Bremen. Kiel Canal has been hit hard by airborne. 22 merchant ships have been sunk. Ocean Star Liner hit by submarine launched missile 800, north miles, 800 nautical miles northwest of Gibraltar. Mostly quiet Pacific and Indian. Let's see if we can't see that P3. Nope. Lower the ESM mass, chief of the watch eye. Come left to course. Zero, four, zero. Helm I. Make my depth two, six, seven feet. Eh, two, five, zero. <laughs> Make my depth two, five, zero feet. Dive eye. Oh yeah, unclick the HPR. I don't think that actually affects your noise output at all. Who knows? Oh, maybe I should have... Nah, I was going to say maybe I should have just snorkeled and topped off the tanks completely. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, can we see this guy on other sensors? Two nine nine two four zero. Nope. Maybe if we pop out of the way from the surface, it might come up on the conformal there, but no, nothing at the moment. Or he's in, he's at the other position. It's something to test. This guy like pulsing his engine like a food processor or something. Zero four zero. Oh, that guy down there is not even going to come out of the conformal baffles. Steady on course. Zero four zero. I keep her coming due north. Come left to course. Zero, zero, <clears throat> two. How am I? Let's see if we can figure out this guy on the conformal here.
RC blows. Con sonar, I have a new contact. Bearing two, four, one. Designated Sierra three. All right, we got him. Sierra two, Sierra three. Four knots. And crap data. <laughs> I'll get it in time there. Oh, we got six. Six blades, huh? It's a seven-bladed thing, isn't it? No, it's six-bladed. Well, we don't actually don't know. Oh, that's great. They have the exact same signature. <laughs> so I don't know if it's the first one or the second one, and we're seeing all six blades, or we're only seeing six out of seven. Is that a hundred percent submerged? What's a hundred percent submerged? <clears throat> this guy might be close once we steady up here. I think I'm actually gonna slow down a little bit. Assumed to be guaranteed submerged. Oh, yes. Yes, we have ruled that with uh, the frequencies. And surface ships are always loud. Oh, taking a peek. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, surface ships are always loud. You can usually always tell that it's a surface ship. Make turns for three knots, maneuvering eye. I'm just getting some snapshots lined up in case we need it. No, not eight knots, dude. <clears throat> I'm slowed down. Slowed his roll. Could be doing this, could be doing this. Not sure which. Oh, great. Now I got some shrimp mirror contacts settling in around there, dude, on the broadband here. I want to hold on a bearing for a little bit so I can get some data. I 
a bearing, a heading. trying to think about the last time I shot a torpedo against the sub in dangerous waters. I guess it was sometime during the Lou Doctrine campaign. I can't think of one off the top of my head from that. Some decent right to left there. Uh, these would both have the same solution. I think that's like a bad point right there. I can't tell for sure. But I'm thinking he's actually kind of closer in. This is some weird data, dude. There's a lot of like maneuvering data in here, so I don't even know how much of this toad data is like workable. I should probably even like split it for the moment. Conformal and sphere dots are very imprecise. Eh, I find them pretty precise in my experience. The toad seems to actually get pretty imprecise below five knots. Is that something? I can't recall seeing noise in conformal and sphere tracks before. Maybe not conformal as much, but Sphere always seems solid to me. I like to switch to Sphere when I can, because the Toad always is susceptible to turning. Like, all my Toad data right now is crap. See, this looks much cleaner than the Toad data. The dude ain't much close. He can't, he's not going to be any closer than this. Question is, where is he in here? <clears throat> now, once you go beneath like five knots, though, the toad gives noisy data, in my experience. There are some situations where the toad gives pretty noisy data. Alright, well, we're close enough where we don't even really need to worry about the toad. I might actually even reel that in for a second here, because we're going to start shooting soon. Retrieve the starboard toad array. How am I? Let's actually come do west here. Actually, let's come more like this and try and cross this T here, get a solution. Excuse me.
Let's see what I get plotting the general trend of that data. It throws it up a little closer. But so much of that is like noise. I wish I could just get rid of that, get rid of that, get rid of that. Probably some of these back here from changing depth. And he also did change speed in here, too. He was going four knots, then slowed down to three at some point. It's hard to say at this moment in time with the data. So well, we got a leg. Let's turn and get another leg. Air launched Skabal. Now I do. <laughs> yeah, okay, I see some noise in here. But given all this maneuvering we're doing, I'll take it over the toad at the moment. Con sonar, I have a new contact. Bearing two, two. Five. Designated Sierra four. Pre torp tactical toad. <laughs> the TB sixteen. <laughs> I was trying to look on the waterfall for trends. I realized the data is not moving because we reeled the toad in. I'm trying to see which way the track is curving. I mean, it is close. It looks like it might be getting closer. I mean, that would make sense, I think, at this point. I think we're still away from closest approach. Oh, weird spherical data. Is it moving? Why is it moving? It's moving. Is dude in close? Oh, I don't know. Dude might be in close. Now he's speeding up. Dude is in close. Alright. I think it's time to uh start shooting here. RTE, dude, he's he seems to be freaking close, dude. We're already kind of in a decent position to run. But man, he seems to be kind of close. Alright, well we gotta get the initiative here, so let's uh get cracking. Depth all fine. Steady on course two. This is nine, close, dude. Nine. You might even hear this. <laughs> <clears throat> Let's get close. Gonna start. Freaking. Uh, all right. Let's do it. Let's get down there. Make my depth six five zero feet. Dive by. Launch tube two. Hi, sir. All ahead. Full. How am I? Hi, sir. Come right to port sonar. Three. Unit is five, running normally. Six. How am I? Alright, Torp is away. 
And it's actually time to oh, boogie. Part of me is wondering about verifying with the ping position. Dude is close though, man. That bearing rate was uh, insufferable. Does not seem to have returned fire. Let's turn it on. Steady on course. Three, five, six. On sonar, no longer cavitating. I'm guessing it's just like random chance that we spawned on top of each other. It's definitely locked onto something. It's, it's descending. He might be a little further away than I thought. But there's no doubt about it. Dude was close. Boom. Nice. Come left to course. Three, three, seven. How am I? <clears throat> Where did that blow up? I launched around here. Dude was like 4,500 yards away or something, man. That's insane. <laughs> Must have caught him on a coffee break. Ideal, I'd want to like try and maneuver to get in like behind him or something, but there was just no time. It was just a matter of time until he picked me up. I don't think he even got anything off. Oh, there's implosion. It's crushed up. Yeah, he's done. Come left to course. Three, one, seven. How am I? Steady on course. Three, one, seven. That was intense, dude. I was like, holy crap, this dude is here. Things are going to be happening. All right. I'll hit standard. How am I? Is there anything out there coming after us? I mean, if it is, we're screwed at this point. I don't even know if I'm slowing down enough to get a QD back here on the sphere. And give me the port. Doing the port code array, how am I? Make turns for twelve knots, maneuvering I. What's that? I 
I don't know if it's just because the tracker's still there that it locks onto it, but I don't see anything there. Yeah, it's just because that tracker was still there. Nope, I think we're good. The water's still quite All saturated, right, though. Oh Woo! That was intense. Alrighty. Guess we're just hanging out in this one. <laughs> Hoping no more kilos sneak up on me like that. That's crazy, dude. I don't remember that in my original playthrough. It might just be utter random chance that we just spawned on top of each other. Yep, and we're clear. Reverbs died down. Don't see nothing out there. Wouldn't be able to see it on the sphere anyway, but... Oh, we're good. Yep, it's back to dead quiet. Well, well. 30 seconds of terror. Followed by 30 minutes of boredom. <laughs> Yeah, I can't remember the last time I shot a sub in Dangerous Waters. I assume it was Lou Doctrine, I just can't remember a specific instance. I'm sure anyone around heard that explosion, like, holy crap, the heck was that? Two explosions. Make my depth one, four, seven feet. Die by. Let's head back shallow again. All right, I will be right back. Okay, dokie. It is all quiet out here, y'all. Gonna come back shallow. Take a listen. I guess we can patrol our patrol area, huh? So I'm thinking we head this way. That Kilo just said, if he was going slow, that probably meant he had like a whiff of me. 
Because like I feel like in an, in an actual scenario, you'd expect things to kind of be going through here kind of quickly, like transiting. They're not just going to go like three knots the whole time. I guess Aikido even transits at on the surface, potentially. Patrol sounds like a lot of work, so nah. <laughs> I don't remember what makes this mission end. Okay, we're starting to get into surface clutter, I think. So let's actually just go to Make my PD here. Zero, six, seven feet, dive by. The ocean's rather choppy. Oh, we could top off the tanks. We're here. Let's do it this time without a kilo nearby. Shrimp. Sometimes I almost think it's like worth it just to bring the toad in for the ascent. Because it just takes so long to come up when you're going slow. Shrimp sound yummy. You can make a shrimp cocktail. The update for like the reflections on this water and the waves themselves are like, uh. They're going at like a rather low update rate. Like the waves look like 30 FPS or something. Whoa, look at all that crap. What the hell? Oh, is that just the shrimp? That's me. Yeah, it's just a shrimp. I thought the uh, some surface group just kind of came in out of nowhere. Ray ZSM mass, chief of the watch eye. Ray Z antenna, chief of the watch eye. I have to be shallow to raise that snorkel, don't I? Make my depth. Zero, six, zero, feet, dive by. Con, EW. Is that our P3? Bearing, one, six, eight. Yep. Flown away a little bit there. Well, that's it. Lower the ESM mass, chief of the watch eye. Lower the antenna, chief of the watch eye. Might as well do a visual sweep before we, uh... Start sucking in some air here. Yeah, there is a snorkel. You gotta be uh, shallower than periscope depth, though. Oh, there is a uh, oh the snorkel depth. Yeah, I got you. Make my depth zero five six feet. Dive by. It's probably easier to do it like this. All right, looks pretty clear. <laughs> I look how much noise they make when you got the masks up. It's nuts. And that, that tube is closed, right? Yeah, good. <laughs> Commence ventilating. Yeah, there you go, the little... I was waiting for that to come up. Breathe, Roger, breathe.
Zero, zero, zero for one nautical mile. Oh my god, a brooch. <laughs> I just thought of like a messed up thing to tie to like cheering on Twitch, just like whenever someone cheers, just make it play the torpedo in the water sound from Dangerous Waters. Just give me a heart attack. Cheeky brochy. You love my baby, you love my honey, you love my darling girl. Alrighty, let's pop down beneath that layer. Start cruising at two thirds, looking for trouble. Make my depth four, five, six. Feet, dive by. That'd be cool if we got a CZ contact. There really aren't surface ships. I'm not really worried about Shadow Zone as much. So let's uh, throw a C first CZ ring here. Say about 28 miles. <clears throat> that could actually make searching this area easier. If you get a nice CZ bounce on someone, you can, like, as this perimeter sweeps across. Put the auto crew on for now. Let's get underneath that layer. CZ search has to be done below the layer, right? No, I think it gets CZ bounce anywhere. I don't think the layer has an effect on it. I'll head two thirds. How am I? I wish you could like when you do this, like just incorporate like zig into this waypoint, like just zig, automate some zig. Con sonar. I have a new Whoa. contact. <laughs> One, two, three. <clears throat> oh, yeah, look at that. Con sonar, I have a new contact. Bearing three, four, five. Designated Sierra six. Distant. All right, let's take our bets, ladies and germs. Is this a CZ contact or a closer contact? Oh, well, first let's uh turn. Come left to course. One, eight, seven. How am I? Oh, interesting. The uh, the frequency shifts. Does that mean that slight shift over here is the real one? Because there's some Doppler to it. <laughs> no, it's the same thing. Eh, I think it's just random noise. Earhart, hello. Good. You missed... Uh... Why, why don't I just keep telling people what they missed? Beat repost, there was a bug that did not acknowledge defeating the Soviet landing force of the Polar Glory mission. Because when you defeat that landing force, there shouldn't be any backfires in repost. So we did repost, no backfires. 
And then uh, we're now here at Journey's End. And we just sunk a kilo in our patrol area. And we're trying to patrol some more. I got some new contacts. I'm thinking these guys may be Steady on course. One, eight, seven. convergence zone contacts, but I'm not sure yet. I forgot who's real here. Okay, CR6. That is our real guy. Drop. I'll stop. Help. I'll head one third. Hell my. Well, that's a CZ bounce, dude's far away. Oh, it's fading. Is it? Maybe not. Oh. Nuke boat. We got a nuke boat, ladies and germs. Nuke boat. I'm just going to call it like a victor for now. Dude, sped up. How long have we had this track? Okay. Likely, CZ is about one or two miles wide. This guy's going like 10 knots. Get through the CZ in about six minutes or so. That was a, a market increase in strength. It's, it, he could still be passing through the CZ because it's weaker at the edges, stronger in the middle. This could be a CZ track. And look how uh, look how parallel those those LOBs are. I'm saying this is a CZ track. Dude's uh, probably like sixty thousand yards away. I'm assuming it's a first CZ. It could also be a second CZ bounce. <laughs> We're going to say that for now. I may even slow down some more so he doesn't hear me in the CZ. Make turns for three knots, maneuvering eye. Oh, I don't know if we're going to be able to get a good solution on him, but we can uh, plot an intercept. Trying to intercept them there. I want to go. I wish I could like go back to old footage of me before I knew about the CZ. Because I'm sure there were times where I'm like, what the heck just happened? What was that? I think it was a CZ bounce. This is definitely a CZ bounce. These lines are so freaking parallel. And parallel either means heading right for you or far as hell away. Is that a Norwegian fishing vessel? What, what we're tracking? <laughs> Are they just bunked up with the Rono on the boat?
Oh, look at that. He's gone. That was I time lapsing there for a second? Nope, but he's gone. I think that's a. I think we got ourselves. I think we had ourselves a CZ bounce there. All right. Well, that's, that solution's a very like rough F estimate, but we're gonna just kind of keep going the way we're going here. Maybe more like seven knots. And let's actually, well, we, we got a fish. Let's freaking go catch the fish. We'll zip over there at two thirds. Oh, two -thirds. How am I? Try and uh, head him off. Well, we don't know what his course is. This is just a guess. Yeah, he's gone. That was a CZ, and that was cool. <clears throat> Alright, but we will pick that up next time. That's a good place to leave it. We just had our CZ bounce. We only have three data points to try and make a solution on, and they're distant parallel tracks. So that's going to be hard, if not impossible. Hmm. But we'll head somewhere out this way and try and line wait. I mean, I'm, I'm assuming this kind of course, because it's like a, making a break for the Atlantic kind of course here. So we'll go over there and we'll wait for our nuke boy. But uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. That was a fun, fun, fun stream there. All right, where are we at? We're at RSR M0801, sunk kilo, Soviet nuke boat, CZ bounce, headed to intercept. Nuke boy TM, see you, Tice. All right, let's quit out of that. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time. Have a good one. And as always, good hunting.